Hey, you're watching Fat Man DD1, you dingus. Whatever he said. Yo, world, this is Fat Man DD1. I'm here. I'm. Um, well, yeah, I'm here. Not live action, but I'm here. Best as you can get animated in here. <laughs> no, I'm fucking around. But let's get into this. This is my review, and I've been waiting a while to review this. This is the E3 announced Spider Man game with no title, created by, you know it, Insomniac Games. So, enough of my blah blah blah. I'm starting Camtasia right now, and we're gonna get into this. So, basically, in three, two, one, and we're gonna just film this. So, right now, we got the logos and stuff. Sony. PlayStation. Let's go. First thing we're starting with is we have New York. And if you've ever been to New York, the World Trade, we have the brand new World Trade. I've been in the area plenty of times. This is animated very, this is like created very beautifully. Like very, very beautifully as a game. If you're seeing it big screen, I'm like that small little part. But this is very beautiful. I love that. Let's go. By the way, this voice actor, Ben 10. Also, if you've ever seen Sunset Overdrive, he's the same voice actor. I like how they reuse things. Safer. But it's not really me they're seeing. Tell me at games, alright. Probably for the, the best. The citizens, the city looks really um, digital, but looks gritty as well as smoggy, dirty, natural. The people look a little more different. Hopefully, when the game does come out, we get more different animations and people. Because the one thing about New York City is it's an open area, but you got to get a lot of drawings of a lot of different, um, a lot of different people. There are a lot, a lot of different people in New York City, so just that's a lot of animation offhand that they couldn't get precisely. But this is a good enough job. I like this. Knowing everything hinges on a guy from Queens sounds as scary as it feels. Marvel. Marvel's name is attached to this. The first time I've been bitching and bitching and bitching at Marvel forever to get their shit together and make a good fucking game. I don't want none of these goddamn mobile apps. I don't want any more Lego Dimension shit. I don't want any more fucking um, uh, Disney Infinity shit. I want a um, pure Marvel game. And they start off with Spider-Man. If Spider-Man kills it, this is Marvel's chance to have back the character, do it more just as they did in the movie, this Captain America Civil War, and take it and put it on a plateau. So maybe after this, we get that Avengers game. Let's keep it going. First thing we get is the suit. The suit looks beautiful. The suit right here looks amazing. It looks cool, badass, and it's just... It's so much because the, the giant spider symbol reminds me of the symbiote. The, the gloves are really, like, just just enhance that shit. It just looks beautiful. The white texture, um, the red and blue, it's cla it's not clashing. It just makes it look wonderful. And he still has the original colors. Plus, they have some of the, um, if you watch Civil War, they have a little um, indent on his arms, where his triceps are. They have that Civil War little critique. It's perfect. No His pressure, eyes right? move just like an um. We have him moving in a. We have him moving in a certain environment. So hopefully this is gameplay, because this right here, as he's moving, I think is a. We have a Daily Bugle newspaper in a coffee shop. This looks like uh, gameplay or just part of the story mode, but it looks so good. Let's go. Boom. Taking down bad guys. This is already showing us as much gameplay as possible. I don't know who that giant villain right here. I don't know if this is like the beginning of Rhino, Hammerhead, whoever, but this guy looks serious. We have him jumping off buildings, classic Spider Man. We have him doing web takedown, classic Spider Man. Spider Sense is going crazy, car crashes, explosions, flying through certain areas, moving, dodging, special effects, and everything. Perfect Spider Man. Boom, perfect Spider-Man. Doom, perfect Spider-Man. And just this amazing acrobatic feats, just like in movies. Something like a fusion of Amazing Spider-Man and Civil War. Best combinations ever. First Amazing Spider-Man, not part two, maybe half of part two, but not Green Goblin stuff. Let's keep going. Scott Scraper destroying the city. Running on top of buildings.
Hashtag Spider-Man PS4. Ladies and gentlemen, this is something I've been waiting for. Something you've been waiting for. Something we've all been waiting for is this brand new Spider-Man game. So, are you ready for this kick-ass brand new Spider-Man game? Are you dying for it? Are you wanting to, to, to have your soul be stolen from you? Are you ready? Do you think Sony... Not Sony. Do you think Marvel and Insomniac will disappoint you? Shut your fucking mouth. They won't. I've been bitching too long for them to disappoint me now. Marvel, don't disappoint me. Don't you ever, ever, ever disappoint me. Because this is what I'm talking about. This is perfect. This trailer had a bit of gameplay in it. I can see it already. It had a bit of just like 3D, like the effects of a regular trailer with like post-game stuff. Like, oh, you'll see this in the game, you'll see this in the game. But stuff you can do. I can run on top of a building. As it's exploding. That shit looks amazing. I Hopefully that's in the game. Like I can play as it. Thank you Marvel. Thank you Insomniac. I'm fucking bowing to you. And bowing my head in respect. Because this is a perfect Spider-Man game. If it comes out and it's amazing and it blows me out the water. I want more Marvel stuff like this. Because that's what I'm talking about. So fans. People. What do you expect from this? What are you expecting to see? Villains, story mode, what are you expecting to have a journey as Spider-Man? Let me know in the comments below. I'm Fat Man DD1. Stay tuned, and sooner or later I'm gonna be talking about the new Legends of Zelda and the gameplay and what I had at Nintendo World. My experience with the new game. Stay tuned. I'm Fat Man DD1. Subscribe. We're trying to reach that 200 subscriber mark. If not, eh, I suck. But let's keep going and let's have fun with it. Because you know why? It's just a good day. Peace and I'm out.